All right, hey, what's up, guys? Today's video is on classifying 3D figures. It should be a pretty short video. We're just going to go over how to figure out or identifying basically different types of 3D figures and shapes. So we have got five total types of 3D figures we will be dealing with. Uh, we have a prism, a pyramid, a cylinder, a cone, and a sphere. So what I like to do when I'm classifying and trying to identify what type of a um, 3D figure I have, I like to try to find the bases of that figure, okay? So some figures have some 3D some 3D figures have one base, some have two, some have none. So let's go over the difference between these two. So first off we have a prism. Okay. A prism. So a prism is a solid with two bases that are congruent and parallel. So it means the bases are the same size, that's what the congruent means, and then they're also parallel, it means that these two planes, which we, or these two bases will never intersect, okay? So it says this figure is a triangular prism because the bases are triangles. So if we look at this example right here, the two bases are the two triangles right here. You can see that they are the same shape, and they are parallel to each other. And what I mean by parallel is that they do not intersect. You can see that. How do I know they're the bases? Because if you look at the sides of this uh, prism, the other three sides, those are those. None of those sides are parallel. So we have to have two uh, two bases or two sides of this thing being parallel for it to be a prism. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so next, pyramid. A pyramid is a solid with one base at and faces that meet at a point. So you kind of know what a pyramid is. You know what they look like, right? The pyramids in Egypt and everything. So they meet at a point at the top, okay? So there's only one base. So you can pretty much tell what type of pyramid is going to be by the shape of the base, okay? The base is the side that does not intersect all the other sides at one point. So so this figure is a triangle, triangular pyramid because the base is a triangle. All right, a cylinder. You've seen a cylinder. This is you can think of a can. It's the best way to think of a cylinder. Okay, cylinder is just a prism with circular bases. So we said it's a prism, meaning that the two bases are parallel and congruent, which is what we have right here. And these bases happen to be circles. So it's just a, a very, um, so it's a specific type of prism. A cone is a pyramid with a circular base. So we have a prism with a circular base, and that's the cylinder, and then the cone is a pyramid with a circular base. I know you've seen cones before, so this shouldn't be anything new to you. And then a sphere is a solid in which each point is equi equidistant from a center point. It's just a ball, okay? What you think of as a sphere, you should know what a sphere is. There is no base on a sphere, though, right? Okay? And later we will go more in depth into spheres, but now we're just kind of classifying stuff right now. So our directions right here for one through nine, we are 12 actually, sorry. We're going to classify each of these. So if I look at this, this to me looks, let's see, let's try to find our bases. Okay. So this looks like a base. Is it parallel to any other, any other side? I would say no. But while the, all, all the other sides meet at one point, so I'm going to say that it is a pyramid, and if that, uh, it is a pyramid, yes. But I want to say what type of pyramid it is. And, and the way to figure that out is you look at the shape of the base. The base in this case is a rectangle, so it is a, it is a rectangular pyramid. Okay, easy as that. This one, all right, we've got a circle base and it meets at a point, looks like a cone to me. Okay, next. All right, so always when I'm looking at these, I first thing I'm checking for is to see if it's a prism. Always, 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 okay? And I, I know it's a prism by the fact that I'll have two sides basically that are the same size and they are parallel. And this one looks like it does have that, right? These, these, this side right here 
and this side right here are and look like they're the same size and parallel. So those are the two bases. They are, of course, triangles. So this would be a triangular prism. Okay. All right. Next. So first thing I noticed with this one is that there's no parallel sides. Okay. So I know it's not going to be a prism. And I see that a lot of most of the sides, all but one, meet at the top, right? That's what tells me it's a pyramid. I know for sure it's going to be a pyramid. So the base is right here. All right, what type of shape is this? I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides of this shape. So that means it is a the shape the base is a hexagon so this will be a hexagonal pyramid and that's it that's that all right this one looks like a can to me i know cans are cylinders our two bases are right here so it's a cylinder okay here we go. All right. So with this one, there are many, there are several different um, sides that are parallel and congruent. All right. So that what this means is that there are different sides that we can choose to be our bases. I could choose this, the top and the bottom. All right, or I could choose this side and this side. All right, but what I do know that all those shapes of these sides are rectangles. So this is a rectangular prism. I'm gonna go ahead and shade in just the top and the bottom because we've kind of been dealing with top and bottom mostly, you know. So rectangular prism is just a box, basically, right? Just a box. But it's not like a cube because it's not a perfect square. Okay, so I want to figure out which ones are the two bases in this one. Because I can see there's probably going to be none of them meet all. There's no place where all of them meet at a point. So it looks like it's probably going to be a prism. I can't say it's the bottom and the top. They are parallel. But they are not the same size. And we look at for a prism, the bases have to be congruent and parallel. But if we look at, and so let's, what about this side and then this side? Well, they don't look like they're parallel, so I would say no to that. But these two, the only ones we have left are this one and then the other one over here. Those look like they were the two bases to me because they're congruent and parallel. So this is a prism, we know that for sure. But what type of shape are the two bases? They are trapezoids. So this is a trapezoidal bay prism. All right, number eight. Again, all meeting at a point tells me it is a pyramid. And we look at the base. It is a square, and I know that because four right angles and all four sides are congruent based on those little tick marks there. So this is a square pyramid. You can't really do anything with the word square by adding an AL or anything to it, so it's just square pyramid. Pretty boring, but anyway. This one to me looks like it's going to be a prism. And my two bases are the top and the bottom of this thing right here. The bases have a uh, pentagon shape, so this will be a pentagonal prism. So uh, you should hopefully be getting the hang of this. 
And if you've done this on your own already, kudos to you. If you're just coming here to check a few uh, problems to make sure you got them right, that's good. That's good as well. So this one is a pyramid because they both all, most of the sides meet at the top. And then the base right here, we'll say it's a triangle, so it's a, just a triangular pyramid. Another one. Okay, now this one, we have this, we have about sort of a side right here that's not parallel to any other side. Either is this one or this one, but these two triangles right here are. So those two are our bases. So this will be a triangular prism. Alright, and last one, it's a ball, looks like a ball, it is a sphere. Alright, so that's a little introduction into 3D figures, those are the ones we're going to be looking at. We might not even, might not even do uh, notes on all of these, but it's still good to be able to recognize these different types of 3D figures. Okay, so that is our introduction into more 3D figures and stuff like that. So, that's the end of this video. I uh, hope you have a great day, and I hope you're all enjoying your quarantine, guys. All right, bye-bye.